Hi everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Neverwinter Nights 2. Let's try and find Marshall Cormick. That way I can't accidentally get the other um, man. Can't accidentally start down the path of evil. Wish the city could spare some grey cloaks to help out here in the docks. Oh, why do you say that? We've been having trouble controlling the thieves here in the district. They're running loose like they own the place. Marshal Cormick and his lieutenant have stepped up patrols, but we just don't have enough men to keep an eye on every street corner. Just watch your step, keep your head down, and you'll be fine. Uh, well, I need some directions. While you're at it, Ask him if I can find the skinny rag wearing monks in this city. I'm eager to join them. Okay, is there a monastery in the city? Hmm. He might want to try the Church of Tyr in the Merchant Quarter. It's behind the city watch building in that district, near the graveyard. Well, that's good, because I'm going there as well. Bye. Um. So, north is back alley, east is district exit, south is district exit. But let's see if we can explore more in this. Look at that, a building you can go in, except it's night time. More buildings you can't go in. But that's not too bad, at least we can go in some of them. You, why are you injured? I saw something odd the other day. Looks like some wizard's got pet got loose again. Okay, so you don't have any good story, you're just injured. A lot of NPCs are injured in this game. It's actually quite a present of City Watchmen. Oh, this is the back alley. I don't think we want to go there, do we? Oh, that's annoying. That's interesting. The weaponsmith's still here. The name's Retco. If you're looking for a blade, I'll hold mine up against any of my competitors. So, how's business for you in the middle of the night? Pretty good, I guess. Because everywhere else shuts. Could be worse, could be better. With all the nastiness going in at the docks, more people are looking to arm themselves. On the other hand, fewer people are entering the district, and those that do aren't here to shop. It's a rough time to be a weaponsmith. Uh, show me what you have for sale then. I'll um, buy some stuff. Oh, you've got some very expensive stuff in fact. A very nice little halberd. And at plus three, um, bow. Well, it, that is excellent. If I keep Elena, I could very much do with that bow, because she hasn't got anything at the moment. Hmm. Meh. Well, this is... Very nice as well, especially for what it costs. Crotan Skull Crusher. This mace is permanently bloodstained, a telltale trace of its many years spent bashing heads. The weapon would have been the bane of humanoids throughout its history, but those who wielded it seem to have been purposely left out of historic record. 
Why do the goblins write all the bloody records? Why can't I wield this? Oh, because it's an exotic. Oh, is this a uh, katana? No, it's a bastard sword. Oh well. The bane of the chaotic or morally suspect, a lawgiver blade, has but one purpose, to enforce the rule of law whether that authority is challenged or questioned. Well, that's a nice little weapon, but no one can really use it, so not going to uh, not going to buy that one. Pretty nice war hammer. Short sword plus two would be good for Nishka. And a sling is what I actually need. Yes. Yeah, you need a sling. Oh, what's that? That looks like a great... Oh, it's a great axe, not a great sword. But that's very, very nice. Could be back for the sandstorm. That's massively underpriced. Oh, it's a throwing axe, that's why, so you only get it for a few throws. But that's not bad at all. Still, this store has plenty of things to remember. And I might be back to buy some stuff. And it's a store that's actually open. So I can actually come to this weaponsmith. Right, let's go on with what we're doing. Let's go to find Cormic. City Watch, so that can't be far away. Is it in here? Yes. Um, who are these? Just thugs. Is this music from Neverwinter Nights One? Very familiar. Um, let's talk to Cormac. There must be someone you can spare, Lieutenant. He's the first to take a stand against these thugs and deserves our protection. You know the number of men I have available to me, Marshal. You also know the efforts I've been taking to weed out turncoats. I can send some watchmen to this shopkeeper, but then you'll have to postpone the sweep through the Northern District. I'm sure you'll agree that what we want that we want every man available for that operation. Is the Northern District the Black District? The Council hasn't done us any favours with that last vote, have they, Lieutenant? We'll just have to make do with what we've been given. Very well. Postpone the sweep. Assign some men to protect the shopkeeper. Place the others on per... Well, look! What the wind brought into Neverwinter. It's good to see you again. If I recall, you were promised a reward if you decided to seek me out. I spoke with my captain once I had returned, and she agreed that your services were quite valuable. Well, the watch is most generous, thank you. Glad to see your harrowing journey through the mare hasn't changed you. A lot of people come out of that place changed, and not for the better. But enough of that. What can I do for a fellow harbourman? I want to join the City Watch, but that's not an option, so I'll talk to you in a second. Okay, I won't. Um, I'm looking for a man called Alden on the Sage. Aldenon? Yes, I know of him. He's a sage that lives in the Black Lake District. Beautiful place. Worth the trip, but we have the entire district locked up tight. He won't be getting in any time soon. Oh, why is that? What happened there? Foulness murder. I'm not permitted to give you any details, but that the investigation is ongoing, but it's serious. Even the mages of Cloak Tower have gotten involved. Yeah, but why is it locked down? Again, I'm not permitted to say, even if it makes you feel any better though. Some of the nobles who live in the district haven't been permitted to return. That's terrible. The only way anyone gets in is if they're a member of the Watch, and Captain Brulona has to personally approve anyone who wants to enter Black Lake. 
That woman takes her job very seriously. She just won't just give you one if you ask. Well, what if I work for the City Watch? Will that help you? It would be a good thought. Knowing you, you're more than capable of handling the job. If you make enough of an impact, Captain Bellina may even take an interest in you. And believe me, you'll have plenty of opportunities to show off your abilities. Oh, and why is that? The City Watch has lost its grip on the Docks District. Criminal gangs are running loose and even some of our own men seem to have forgotten the oath that they took when they joined. It hasn't just been your usual crime wave, however. These six have been well organised. They... we've heard a name. Moira. We think she's the one running the gang. We also know others have tried to organise their own gangs. The City Watch is outnumbered. We can use every man willing to join our ranks. Okay, well, sign me up. What did I tell you about this one, Ro? Gets things done with little fuss. Yes, sir. A valuable recruit. The captain will be pleased. Here, you'll need to wear this dish cloak to mark you as a member of the City Watch. And believe me, your arrival has helped us out immensely. No, I wish we had the time for you to set us in, but we've got a problem with one of the shopkeepers. His name's Hagen, and he's decided to stand up to the criminals of this district. Get down to his shop and make sure nothing happens to him. My gut tells me Moira's crew isn't through with him yet. Lieutenant, it would seem our problems are solved. The sweep of the North Dock could occur on schedule. Yes, thank you. I recommend that you make your way to Hagen's as soon as possible. I worry for his safety. And with that, I'm going to turn off steam because it's beeping at me. Right, I'm back. So, off to find Hagen. In the dock somewhere. I'm a bit annoyed that I didn't close Steam. I think that's the first time in 300 videos that I've done that. But it's pretty much a rite of passage as an LPR to leave Steam or Skype or something on. By the shadows of Meridalane. I've got to say, the frame rate here in the docks is terrible. It's dropped below 30, um, probably for the first time since that first village. I think it'll be watchable. Hope so. Caleb's a baddie. Hagen shop. Ah, so maybe the shops are open at night. It just happened that I hadn't triggered his door yet. Hopefully. Yeah, he's just. Was it a sergeant I talked to before? Yeah, I think it was. Risa, that name is really familiar. No, she doesn't recognise us. Um, well met, is there something I can help you with? Um, yeah, I'm here to speak with Hagen. I'm Risa, my father is Hagen. Might I ask what you wish to speak with him about? I might be able to help instead. instead. I'm here with the City Watch. I'm pleased to see that the Watch still responds so promptly to reports of crime. It's good to know that the Watch considers threats to one's livelihood as sufficient reason for an investigation. Well, no, she's not unhappy with the Watch, she just said. She's happy with my 
Unless she's been sarcastic, but I don't think she was. May I speak with Hagen, please? Yes, of course. My father will be happy to know that his pleas have been answered. The City Watch has honoured us with their presence, Father. Perhaps a celebration is in order. No, she's being sarcastic. Be silent, Risa. They're here now, and they mean to help. Thank you for responding. Forgive my daughter. She has yet to learn patience. She's definitely a charmer. Well, what's with all the bloody sarcasm? And it'd be easier to know if they'd voiced this bit, it would have helped a lot. I'd be wanting protection as well if there were more of your kind running loose in this city. Oh, stop being such a massive dick to Nishka, for goodness sake. Um, so what can I do for you, Hagen? I want the watch to put a stop to the tribute demands that a local thug named Caleb has insisted from the merchants. Well, we happen to know Caleb is a baddie anyway, so that's good. Tribute, you mean, you mean? Well, it obviously means a protection racket, doesn't it? But Caleb is innocent until proven guilty, and I can't do anything about it without some proof. I know that. Why do you think I've called for you? Of course, you can't do anything if you don't have the proof. Caleb is bound to send more men to collect his tribute. I need you to protect me from them. Um. He could hire his own personal army, and he's being a dick, but equally we happen to know that Caleb probably is a baddie, so I believe him. Don't worry, I won't let anything happen to you or your shop. Thank you. I'm not asking for much, i just like to run a clean business. Risa, I want you to go home where it's safe until all this is over. I don't want you getting hurt. You know what I would do if I was a mob? Capture her. I'm not leaving you here alone, Papa. I want to help if Caleb sends more men. No, and that's final. You will go home and stay there until I tell you otherwise. The City Watch is here to protect me now. Yes, Papa. But if anything happens, I want you to let the Watch handle it. Do you promise that you'll stay out of it? Yes, yes, you have my word. Um, can I do something now? Caleb didn't like your answer, merchant. You will pay him the tribute or things will get unpleasant here pretty soon. I will not be bullied. Caleb has my answer. I owe him nothing. Wrong answer, old man. Maybe a few broken bones will change your mind. Yeah, can I interrupt now? Where's your daughter? Sent her away, did you? Not smart at all. We can find her. Yeah, I know, that's what I said. It'd be a shame if something happened to her as well. Look, the merchant thinks the city watch can help. I thought wisdom came with age, old man. You're all under arrest. Ha, careful boys, we're being arrested. Oh, woe is us, what will we do? Why don't you just go get yourself a pastry while we finish our business here, hound? One more word out of you and you'd wish you'd only been arrested. Boys, the City Watch is getting uppity again. Time to bring them down a peg. I must apologise for questioning the dedication of the City Watch. I thank you for what you've done. Yeah, well, the watch is here to serve. Good day. Oh, now he does have a box I could help myself to. He's also a shop. What if I just talk to him? Can I just buy something? 
Th thank you again for keeping those thugs away from me. No. No, we can't. What sort of a bloody shop is this? The only bad thing is I killed everyone, so Caleb isn't going to know. I should have let one live. Ah, I know where I am. There we go. companions are there. I thought they disappeared at first. I understand you were able to keep Hagen from harm. Good work. Perhaps the people of Neverwinter will have more confidence in the watch and stand up to these criminals. Yeah, there was a name mentioned. Caleb. Apparently he was behind the threats. Caleb? The watch knows him well. I've been looking for an excuse to bring him in. Moved on to extortion, has he? My sources suspect Caleb of being Moira's man in the South Docks. Bringing him in will hurt her operations there. Sorry for all the pauses. Uh, what are you waiting for then? Do you know where this Caleb is holed up, Lieutenant? Oop, that was Marshal Cormac. Sorry, this is all going wrong. We do. I can send some men over now to deal with him. No, let them rest. The sweep through the North Docks was rougher than we anticipated. I'll take care of Caleb. Of that I have no doubt. Very well. The lieutenant can give you his location. I want you to put a stop to Caleb's activities. Hopefully by activities you mean breathing. He usually spends his time in an alley south of here. I'll show the location on your map and be wary. He's not the brightest of Moira's gang, but he can be brutal. I hope he's got a lot of money on him. I'm quite poor. There are probably side quests I should be doing somewhere. Right, next one down. If I wanted to, I could do some buff spells now. But I'm not sure I ever memorised any. Yes. We are no. We are no. Yes. Yeah, that is a bit cheap. I don't care. What are you looking at, hound? The watch isn't welcome here, so get out. There'll be your bones breaking if you don't come quietly with me. You've got a lot to learn if you think you can just come here and try to arrest me. Why don't you be a good little watchman and go back to chasing down stray dogs or something? Because that quest, Fancy Star 4, took me ages, that's why. Besides, you got any proof that I've done anything? I've been here all day! Um, yeah. I can arrest you because I deem you a danger to the city. 
Danger. I'm bringing order to this district. More order than you Watchmen can. Um, that's basically an admission. You're coming with me, Caleb, or else. I'm not warning you again. It's going to be hard to bring me in if you're dead. Come on, boys. Let's show this Watchman who's in charge around here. Right, so, I, sh I don't know how tough this is going to be. Let's put everyone puppet mode on. So, I will concentrate on this one on the left. Of course. You, I never really armed you properly because I didn't buy any bullets. So you can go on the left. You're already on the left. Okay, so you with the spear can come on this one on the right. Kelgar. You can simply take an attack of opportunity and come round the back. So who's left? There's a thug there. Where are you? You can attack this thug. You can attack this thug. And you can help with the boss. Why have you given up? Why aren't you attacking the boss? Right, that'll do. We've won now. Well, yes. that wasn't very tough. I've cleared up this district, I think. Something tells me the city guard will not be happy. But Torm told me they were bad. I gave them an opportunity to be arrested and they just refused, so... I judged them, and they died. Judge Tom judged them, and I was his vessel. You bring good news, I hope. We could certainly use some. I don't need to lie. He is a baddie, so I don't need to lie about this. But equally, I don't revel in his death. Well, I do, but... I'll pretend to be meek and... Yeah, I'm, I'm no threat to the City Watch. I can't just kill people. I can't do jobs that would take your entire army to do. It's over. Do you have any new orders for me? Did he? A shame. If he was working for Moira, he'd have had some interesting things to tell us. Yeah, I'm sorry. He didn't give me a choice. I'm sorry. I believe it. Caleb was never the smartest of fellows. You did well. We now have the opportunity to put a serious dent in Moira's activities and bring order back to the district. Unstable as he was, Caleb still had some control over crime in this part of the docks. Without him, I'm wagering that his thugs are now divided and fighting all over control of the docks. I want you to deal with it. Keep the peace. The district will see that the City Watch is here to serve. Yeah, I think I'm being used as bait here. But what do you want me to do? Our sweep through the North Docks wasn't as effective as we would have liked, but it did reveal the amount of control that Moira's gang has over the district. It also revealed the extent of the corruption that has spread through the Watch. Many of our men returned to report either that they had been ambushed, or more disturbingly, that they found only law-abiding citizens. I want you to perform a similar sweep through this area of the docks. Apprehend any and all members of Moira's or anyone else's gang that you run across. I also want you to check in at our guard posts. Captain Brelena has given me strict orders, Marshal. I am not to press the issue with our watchman at this time. We are short-handed as it is, and cannot afford to have men leaving us for Moira's employ. She sounds like a mole as well. Captain Bellina has also charged us with clearing the district up, and I mean to do just that. 
corruption within the watch certainly encourages the criminal activity. Yeah, we should arrest Ray. She's she's obviously involved as well. Well, he wants us to visit the guard post because he thinks they're corrupt. Because they're not arresting people, claiming they're law-abiding citizens when they were earmarked as gang leaders. Um, the wish to conduct the sweep is before a clear out or before uh, a new leader is a new sub leader, a sub team leader is elected. So that leaves, I would really just say yes, but I don't have that choice. So am I to arrest our own as well then? <sighs> I defer the decision to you, Marshal. Arrest those involved in illegal activities. Moira won't find any allies amongst the City Watch if I have any say about it. I understand Captain Berlaner's concerns, Lieutenant. However, we must purge the criminal element from our own ranks before we can effectively clean up the district. Very well. You have your orders. Report back when your sleep is sweep is complete. Who is Trent and why has he only just been drawn? Look at this, an actual watchman on patrol. What? What? He means us girl. Oh god, I keep forgetting. How about having a drink with us watchman? Relax a little. I'm guessing this was meant to trigger in the street. So we're right in front of these two, but obviously this was meant to happen outside. So I doubt these two will know if I say, yeah, a little drink can't hurt, sure. Because we're using him for information. Ah, excellent. To good friends and safe times. Drink up. I hope you like it. It's a special brew that I learned from back home. Um... Brew is interesting. Thank you. It's an acquired taste, I'll admit. My favourite, though, and I'm honoured to have had this drink with you. A safe patrol to you, and thanks for being so understanding. Clearly, that event didn't trigger properly, did it? However, his name is Trent Vendel, and judging from his impaired balance and the scent of alcohol on his breath, this man should not be driving a car or operating a heavy crossbow. Thankfully, he isn't. And if he needs to go in the cell, it's right there. Are you evil? No. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, this doesn't look good. Everyone, follow me! Follow me! Bonaparte. Ladies, ladies, please, there's no call to lose our tempers over this. Temper? I haven't even gotten warmed up yet. <laughs> Being able to keep a rein on your spells is a sign of discipline, Quara. Something you could never master. <laughs> and the instructors aren't here to shield you. Go on, set fire to this whole street and this sad tavern, and you'll never be able to return to the academy, let alone Neverwinter. As if I'd want to stay in that prison with you high-nosed witches for another year. You're right. Here among the docks is where you belong, peddling yourself for cheap coin. Wow! Someone give me a tankard! This is going to get good! What in the nine hills did I do to deserve the- Oh, thank the gods you've arrived. 
do something, these ladies are about to start throwing spells outside my establishment. Um. Okay. Can I have any more information? I guess there's no, um, no time to give me any more detailed information. All right, let me see what I can do. Whatever you do, do it quick. They won't be able to ferry enough water from the harbor to put out a blaze if things get out of hand. Heatha, I think members of the Watch are here. Friends of yours, Clara? <laughs> Sent to bail you out, perhaps? I don't need anyone's help to turn you into ash. Um, so what seems to be the problem here, ladies? There is nothing to discuss. Quara has threatened us for the last time, and we will stand for it no longer. Yeah? If Quara's so superior to us, then I say let her prove it, without the Academy instructors stepping in to stop things. The instructors? They never stopped me before. You always went running to them, not me. I've heard every word you've said about me, always talking behind my back, ridiculing me, just because it takes you a shoreman's hour to cast a cantrip. <laughs> and you think setting fire to a stable while casting yours is any better, Quara? I practice restraint, not showy, excessive displays. Yeah, Hitha is simply cautious in her craft. You're the dangerous one, Quara. If you knew how dangerous I was, then you should have known better than to push me this far. Why aren't those other Watchmen guards doing anything about this? They're obviously corrupt. So, I want Quara. If I get to... if I can either have these sisters or Quara. Clearly Quara is more powerful. We want her on our team. And rubbish at diplomacy and intimidate. So I'm just going to say, look, this street is under my protection. You cast a spell and I'll arrest you all. I... I would not intervene if I were you. Else we'll be forced to stop you as well. We are wizards, you know. Yes, wizards. From the academy. But we don't want any trouble with you. Just Quara. Break the law. I am the law. These two are going down. They just threatened me. So is this meant to trigger inside the tavern? <laughs> Has it got the areas all confused or something, was it? Um, any fight in here means you're fighting me and all my friends, including Quara. Heatha, I don't want to be cast out of the academy if we're arrested. Very well. <laughs> this isn't worth it. You're fortunate this time, Quara. Next time, you'd better not let us catch you outside the academy walls. Ugh. Come, Glenna. I think we've smelled enough of the docks for one day. Aww. Uh -huh. I wanted to... Why, why aren't I arresting them? I didn't need your help. Those wizards had it coming. I wanted to fucking arrest them. Ah, goddamn game. Trading insults and spells isn't the way to resolve matters. You should have called the watch. Like those that are standing right behind you. Those noble-born wannabe mages are just jealous. They don't like the fact that I can summon more power from my thumb than they can with a day's worth of concentration. They're always staring into their tomes and books, trying to categorize magic. It's a waste of time. It just is. And either you understand it or you don't. It's instinct. So she might be a sorcerer then. So you study at the Academy? Well, the thing is, I'm not a part of the Academy anymore. I quit. Sort of. After burning down the stable. Last you should have thought of that before starting a fight outside the flagon. And the damage you caused before they even showed up. It's the wood you use in the rafters. It sets fire easily. Sorry about that. Sorry? Oh, lass, I wasn't asking for an apology. You'll be paying me back, you will, for all my lost business, for a tarnished reputation, and for putting me and my kin in danger like that. What? I'm not working for either of you, ever. 
Why didn't you tell me that before? Ah, oh, Duncan. No, Duncan's right. You owe us. No, lass, you will. Or by gods, you'll bring down a fury from me like you've never seen. And not only that, if you don't, you'll be proving those other girls right. I don't think you're willing to admit you don't have discipline, restraint, or a sense of responsibility, like they claim to have. Besides, I doubt you'll be welcome back at the Academy. Hannah could put you under arrest. You know, actually, Duncan, I could use some help in my travels, especially from a sorceress. You want me to help you? Fine, but I warn you, you may not be able to handle me. But if you want to take a demon by the horns, then fine. I'll be waiting inside the flagon, give you a chance to change your mind. But I think we will talk to her next episode. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you for more Neverwinter Nights too.